Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to set up sound alerts for your channel points. And before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. To get started, let's just jump over to Google and search for sound alert. The first one that comes up should be soundalerts.com. We're just gonna give this one here a click. Once we're on this here page, let's just go over to the dashboard. This is just gonna say log in with your Twitch. It's not gonna give you any other options. This is something you're gonna have to do. You do have to log in with your Twitch and you will have to authorize your Twitch account. So we're just gonna log in using Twitch. It's gonna say soundalerts.com wants access to your account. It's gonna give you a big bunch of stuff and click authorize. From here, we should be in the sound alerts dashboard. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go down to sounds and we're gonna go find a few sounds that we like. Why don't you click in sounds, look through these here sounds that they have. They have most popular and trending. You can check through them. And the same as there's categories here that you can click. You can go to your uploads and your favorites as well. So you can favorite some in here or you can upload your own or browse. What we're gonna do is just gonna look through and find a couple and on the ones that you like, when you click preview, these are gonna be very loud at first, but that's okay. We can change this here later if they are too loud. So to add one, we want this here RIP. We're gonna click the open. Because we're not affiliated on this here account, it's only gonna give us bits or other events. If your account was affiliated, it would say channel points right in here. So that's something that we're gonna have a little bit of an issue with here. So I'm gonna sign into my other account to make sure that I can show you the full process. If you have an affiliate account, when you go into the sounds and you pick a sound, when you click the open, it's gonna give you an option for channel points. In here, you'll be able to quickly change the name or change the channel points. For the rip, it's fairly loud, so we're gonna change it to 3000 points and click add sound. It already exists, so we're gonna click the X and go down to another one. We'll go to this here bra, click channel points, add it for 3000 points, same thing. You make these here points, uh, depending on what your channel is and how much you're gonna get trolled. Make these expensive if they're super loud or change the volume when you're done. When you add sound, it's gonna say alert, sound alert, add it to your channel over here. Also, when you go to my alerts, you'll have the extensions, channel points, and other. So if I've already been advanced in this here video and showed you the ones in the extensions, this is gonna be the same way you can go through, click on each one of these here, change your cooldown time, as well as the amount of points, and you'll be able to change the slider so that they're not quite as loud. I suggest a 50% because that's where it seems like it's not too loud on my own ears and my chats. After you're doing that, just click a save and you're all done. Now back to future me. Well, we're in here, we're gonna wanna add all the other ones that we want as well. So after you're done adding all the ones that you want for channel points, if you don't have channel points and you only have bits, let's try adding a few for bits here as well while we're in here. So we're just gonna open up this here RIP again. We're just gonna click on the extension, it's gonna say the name, and we'll just add the sound. Okay, down here on the right hand side, it's gonna say the sound alert was added to your Twitch extension. We're just going to add two of them here to the extension and add sound. There we go. This here is going to give you five free that you can add to your channel points. And I think 35 that you'll be able to add for bits. That's the free version of sound alerts. There is a paid version where you'd be able to buy more. If that's something that you would like, that is an option just to let you know that that is an option that's available. If five alerts in your channel points for channel points isn't enough for you, you can get more, but this is free and easy to use. And for adding five for channel points and adding 35 bits, I think that's a pretty good start. And this one here is very easy to set up. Once you're done picking the sounds and you edit the ones that you want it for bits, we're just gonna go over here to the left side menu and we're gonna go all the way down here to settings. Now in settings is gonna be general, manager, and setup. For this, we're just gonna jump over to the setup page because this is where it's gonna say implement the into the browser and where you can click I use OBS Studios. When you click this, it's gonna give you options to drag this button into OBS or use the copy paste. I suggest using the copy paste. I don't suggest using the drag and drop issues. I had issues with this and to avoid them issues, please use the copy paste option. So we're just gonna give it a click. It's gonna say copy here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just minimize this here down and we're gonna open OBS. In here, all we're gonna to have to do is click the plus sign down here, add a browser source, we're just gonna name it sound alerts. Click okay. We'll just give the browser source a paste in here. You can, in here as well, you can use control audio via OBS. I don't use this, I don't click it on. And we're gonna shut down the source when not visible and refresh it when it becomes 
visible. Then we're just gonna click, then we're just gonna click okay. That's everything in here. All we're gonna do now is minimize this and jump back over to the Sound Alerts website. From here, we're just gonna go to My Alerts. And in My Alerts, it's going to give you some options. It'll give you the extensions, the channel points, and other alerts. So if you don't have channel points yet, you'll be able to change the options for extensions in here. You can click the sound that you want, select use overlay from the alert settings, no overlay, default, or change the volume. We're just gonna change the volume down here. We want ours at 50%. I find 50% actually still fairly loud, and some of these I had to turn down a long ways. At the bottom, there's gonna be a save, so once you adjust the volume, just click the save button so that it takes effect. Now all that's left is for us to add the extension to Twitch. So on the left side menu, let's go down to settings here again, and we'll go over here to the setup. If we scroll down, it's gonna give us an easy button to click that'll say install extension to Twitch. So all we'll need to do is give this here a click. Another way to do it is if you're in Twitch, you can go to your creator dashboard, go down to extensions and search for sound alerts. It's gonna be the very first one that shows up. For this example, I'm gonna go over here to the website and click install. It's gonna bring us to the same page and it'll over on the right, it'll show an install. Just click the install and we're gonna click configure and this will give us an option to open our dashboard, which will lead back to there. So we're just going to click the X. From here, this is going to say installed, but it is not activated. This isn't in a spot yet, and I only have three panels. When you activate this, you're going to have to set it as panel one, two, or three. So for this example, I'm actually going to remove or uninstall one of these extensions. So what I'm going to do is to de I'm going to deactivate one of these, and I'm going to click activate as panel one. Click done. And from here, you can check it out. You can go into your channel, and this is gonna show either underneath your chat here, what's new, your browser source is offline, so we need to go back in here, edit it, okay, boom. I just had to click the X on that there. I didn't actually have to go fix anything, so keep that in mind if you see that and it loads up and says it is on here below. Just click the X's out, refresh your page. That should be good. It shows both of our sound alerts here. It doesn't say how much they are because we're offline right now and you have to be streaming to test it. Okay, perfect, once it shows up there, it'll show in your about page as well. So it'll show underneath your chat and in your about page. There it is right here. And it'll say your browser source is offline. We'll just click that. That's because we're not streaming over here in chat. After that, if you have channel points, you'll be able to click your channel points and click through. I'll leave a little segment in the middle of the video here so that you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. I do have an account that's affiliate. I just try not to leak my information, so I use this one here. But after that's all done, you should be all set. All you'll need to do is give a couple of tests, check them out, go live and test this, test this live, get your chat to test it, make them cheap so that you can do the ones with the bits, do the channel points one cheap, just make sure that everything's working fine before you set everything in stone because you'll want to change them and adjust them a little bit just to make sure, test their volumes, and you'll all have to be live to check this here out and test it. But that's it. After you have this here set up, give it a few tests, and most of all, have fun. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.